we we love him and he's been getting lots of attention but but we have begun to see changes in behavior and i think maybe it's maybe he's maturing and he's he's longing for something that we can't quite provide so we um, we've in consultation with our veterinarian have um, you know we've we've done everything we can think of up to this point and we're still seeing some of the behaviors that um are an indication that he's not doing his best um and so the research and consultation with the veterinarian suggests that the, the best sort of place for him would be with other macaws in a in an environment that safari niagara is able to provide with a large lush space he, he's an absolute delight but you can may see that i don't know He's missing some feathers, and that's one of the behaviors that has developed over the last few years of um, sort of attributed to sort of a little bit of peekaboo, anxiety, um, and, and possible uh, boredom, depression. He's been snapping off his feathers, and uh, so that's that's one of the the behaviors that we have been been seeing the last few years, they will integrate Merlin very slowly into the rest of their um, uh, area with the birds. Uh, so he will probably spend a little bit of time just on his own because he's never been with other birds too. We don't really know how he will react. So um, I think ultimately it will be a positive experience, but it might take a little bit of time there is a hope that maybe Merlin will feel a special bond to the uh, the macaw that they have that does not have a mate. But nonetheless, he will have a new family of birds that he's never had before, and and that's just really exciting. It, it's a it's a sad thing to have to say goodbye to Merlin, but it's just it's we all know I think in our like everyone all the staff we all, I I haven't met any I haven't talked to anyone that disagrees like we're just really excited about about what. And what the future is in store for him. And he's got many, many good years ahead.